What's going on, everybody? Hope you're all having a fantastic day today. Now, very quickly, before we go ahead and start the commentary, if you guys want to check out any of my live streams, I do them every single day over my Twitch channel. You can find the link to that down in the description. We're going to be switching back and forth between Battlefield and Vanguard. I know I need to play both these games in order to come up with commentary ideas. Always in the past, you guys always say, JB, why do you always play the games that you hate? You always talk so much crap about this game, and you go ahead and play it. <laughs> Oh God, I hate when people say that because it just makes no logical sense. Uh, like, what what is a game reviewer going to do? If a game reviewer doesn't play the game, how are they going to review it? What does a movie critic do? If they're not going to watch the movie, how are they going to critique it? You know, what is a food reviewer going to do? If they're going to go to a restaurant and review it, how are they going to review it without trying out the food? It makes no logical sense. How am I going to make opinion-based videos about games if I can't form an opinion off of the game itself without playing it? You see what I'm saying here? So yes, every single day we're going to be bouncing back and forth between Vanguard, Battlefield. Make sure you guys come and hang out a little bit. Say hi. Join the family. Join the squad fantastic people over there. We have a nothing but a bunch of goats lined up over there. Great people. So if you guys want to squad up with us, we always do open lobbies on both those games. If you want to play or anything like that, work on your win-loss, your KD. We have great lineups over there. Come over to my live stream. Like I said, link to all that stuff is down in the description. But today we have some, uh, just... Some really bad news, some extreme, actually some of the worst news that I think I could possibly put out on this channel. Now, this isn't the all-time high of bad news when it comes to Battlefield 2042. I'm actually going to make a video tomorrow discussing my final impressions of this game right now. I know it's extremely early right now. I'm actually making this much earlier than I am with Vanguard's final impressions and stuff like that, but... It has to be done, and if you guys want to tune into that video, like I said, it's going to be coming out tomorrow. I'm going to be covering absolutely everything that I need to say about this game right off the bat, but I think what I'm going to be saying today deserves its own specific video because it makes me really sad and depressed that they decide to do this. Now, I know a lot of people are going to be confused about the gunplay in this game. They're going to be saying, well, you know, a lot of the times I'm shooting at people, the bulls aren't connecting. My bulls are ghosting through people. I feel like I'm bad. You know, I can't get the hang of Battlefield 2042. I'm a really bad player. I don't want to play this anymore because I'm crap. Don't let the gunplay fool you into thinking that you're a bad player because you truly are not. In the beta, the gunplay was phenomenal. Honestly, the gunplay and the movement were two of the main features that kept me grinding through that buggy, crappy mess. The overall beta was disgusting, filled with bugs, filled with glitches. It was almost completely unplayable. And honestly, it was so unplayable that a lot of people got refunds from the beta and also just stopped playing the beta altogether. But for me personally, like I said, if you guys, you guys can literally just go back and look at all my videos. I loved the beta. I was able to look past all the crap that they had in that game just specifically because of the gunplay and the movement they had in the title. It felt so good. Probably some of the best gameplay I've ever had out of any game. Forget Call of Duty. Forget any of the past Battlefield games. Forget Apex. Forget Rainbow Six Siege. Forget Overwatch. Forget anything. Right here, Battlefield 2042 had single-handedly the smoothest gameplay I've ever touched. Now, sadly, there's a reason that we're watching this gameplay here with this specific weapon, and it's pretty sad because you're probably only going to be seeing this weapon for a very long time, and once people start learning this, they're going to all be using it as well. And actually, I don't even care. I know what everybody always says, don't tell people the secret weapon. I don't give a crap. This game is garbage right now because of this. Use this weapon because it's the only weapon that will give you consistent gunfights. First off, they nerfed all the assault rifles into the dirt. I think, like, the last assault rifle is good, but all of them are utter crap they took all the weapon balancing out and in a game where there's no weapons you can't do that if it's only four assault rifles and four smgs you can't make like three of them viable you know there's no content if it's like 50 weapons in the game i can completely understand but there's not there's not there's 22 guns they all have to be good across the board or it's going to be a lack of variety you can't have 10 out of the 22 weapons be good and then we have to wait months to get more weapons in the game no that's not how it works so first off yeah they completely nerfed around all the weapons to make them absolute garbage but that's not all they did <laughs> that is not all they did at all if you look at this tweet right here it pretty much sums up everything that i'm about to say right here this guy went ahead and said the battlefield 2042 gunplay has me having zero percent confidence in my gun skill i've competed against the best battlefield players in the world i shouldn't be questioning taking a gunfight against billy bob 374 because of an unreadable oppressive spread and hit reg issues in this game it wasn't in the beta. Keep in mind, this was not in the beta. The beta build did not have this whatsoever. But in this game right here, not only did they nerf the movement, they slowed down the movement because apparently it was too fast for some people, but at the same time, they nerfed the gunplay. They added in Bloom. 
Bloom! Now, they call it, uh, what do they call it here? Um, weapon spread or whatever. I don't care what it's called. It's not weapon spread. It's bloom. It's the same exact thing. And for those who don't know what bloom is, I already made multiple commentaries about this because they added it into Call of Duty Vanguard, which I have already been complaining about because it's stupid. Bloom doesn't need to be in first person shooters. Third person shooters, yeah, whatever, because basically you don't ADS, you don't aim down your sights, you always have a hitbox, you know, thing in front of you. So yeah, Bloom is all right. But when you're looking down the scope, it should have nothing to do with that. It should only be either hit scan, you should have a little bullet velocity, maybe some bullet lead, bullet drop and stuff like that, but it should never be Bloom. Because basically the whole purpose of Bloom is if you're ADSing, if you're looking down your scope and you shoot, basically after like what? four or five bullets, it doesn't even shoot where your scope is at. It's basically like shooting while you're hip firing, but instead you're looking down the scope. It makes no logical sense. And I was so pissed off when they added into Vanguard, and that's what really pushed me towards Battlefield 2042 because I was like, oh my god, you know, at least in this game, the gunplay and movement's good. But no, here we are, and they absolutely changed it around. They ruined, they ruined the polished off gunplay in this title to the point where this gun right here, I forget what it's called, was it, like the PP something or what? It's like the Bison from Modern Warfare and whatever it's called in Cold War. This is like the only gun. This and like one of the DMRs, the SVK or something, whatever it's called, that, sniper rifles, and LMG, and uh, this weapon right here, the SMG. These are the only weapons. All the assault rifles suck. I think the other SMG is pretty decent. Um, pretty much every the other DMR, the DM7, whatever it's called, it's pretty darn bad unless you have high-powered bullets. Everything sucks in this game because it's bullet spread. You can't consistently get into gunfights because the developers were so noob-friendly. They wanted to make sure, you know, everybody gets a participation award. I just made a commentary yesterday about the scoreboard, how it's, it's hiding all the bad players, and it's hiding everybody so you don't have to see who's, you know, doing poorly in the match. Oh, everybody gets a participation award, and here we are again where it's allowing bad players to fight back because that's the whole purpose of Bloom. It's so bad players can still engage in gunfights. So if a good player can be consistent, if they can land all their shots if they wanted to, they can't because after a certain amount of time, those shots are going to burst out into every direction, which allows the other player to come back and, you know, maybe, just maybe, kill you off. It's single-handedly the worst feature ever implemented into FPS because there's no way to master it. There's no way to learn it. There's no way to overcome it. You know, in a game like, let's use PUBG as an example, which is super realistic when it comes to gun mechanics. I mean, you have to lead your shots really far and, you know, aim way above their heads at long range gunfights. And you have to have the right weapons and caliber to make sure, you know, you engage correctly with other enemies to make sure you do damage and stuff. It's super duper real when it comes to gunfights but it still takes skill. You can learn what weapons at what ranges, how far you need to lead the shots at what range. You know, you can learn all these things the more you play it, but Bloom, you can never learn it. It's always randomized. It's not like you have a different recoil pattern that you can get. No, it literally shoots the bullets out at a random direction that you can't control. The only way to control it is to start to tap fire, but there's no reason to tap fire when there's a few guns in the game, like you're seeing right here, where you don't have to, where you can just fully auto. So it literally cancels out over half of the weapons in the catalog because there's like two to three weapons where you don't have to tap fire that basically have virtually no bloom that will dominate every other gun in the game. It's really bad. Now, the good news here is that the developers did respond to this tweet and they actually said, thanks for the tag. We're looking at weapons already and are planning on a few changes regarding spread. Not date or specifics to share for the changes yet though. So they are going to change this. Thank God, no more bloom in this game for everybody that's confused about the gunfights and they're hating the gunplay. Don't worry, don't worry, they're going to change it. But the problem here is why did you even change it in the first place? This is going to just cause so much chaos in the whole Battlefield community because we don't know when this is going to be released. This could be released a week from now, a month from now, two months from now, a half a year from now. We don't know when they're going to change the weapon spread of all the weapons in the game. But when they do, we're going to have to readapt to a new playstyle. So we already got adjusted to how the beta played. We learned the weapons. We learned that everything was pretty viable. We learned the recoil patterns. We learned that there was no bloom. It was pretty much hit scan. Everything was already memorized and people were good to go. Then the the game comes out in its official build, completely remodeled. The gunplay, completely different. The time to kill, completely different. The movement, completely different. They did the same thing in Battlefield 5. They couldn't help themselves with the time to kill. They had to flip it around seven, eight, 
nine, I don't know how many times, but they flipped it around so many times, and it made it hard to learn the game because the time to kill kept changing. So one day, you were killing someone in three bullets, the next you were killing them in ten, the next you were killing them in five. How can I get consistent at a game when the variables keep messing around? But as I was saying, the beta, we go to the official build, everything is different. So we have to relearn the game again. We're relearning it right now. We're going through the process. Then, you know, a couple of weeks down the road, we all learn how the weapons work in this game. Then a month later, two months later, they change it again, right? When we get adjusted to how this plays, then we have to change all the way back to how it used to play. And we have to readapt. Re you see what I'm saying here? It's going to confuse players. It's going to push away players. And this feature right here should have never been changed in the first place. It was stupid. It was pure stupidity. And I don't mind telling it how it is. You can sugarcoat it as much as you want. But you don't need to change things that don't need to be fixed. I, for one, love the specialists in this game. I think they're actually pretty fun. But the mass majority of the community said they were awful. Everybody was complaining about that, but they didn't do anything. Then a few people say that the gun plays bad, and they change that? I just don't understand. This had to be an inside job. This had to be because one of the developers didn't like it, or maybe one of the developers was straight garbage at the game that they needed a way to fight back. I don't know what the reasoning is. But again, this is a bad decision. Congratulations for, you know, going back to it. I gotta give you guys props for, you know, reverting it. But wh why did it happen in the first place? It's... <laughs> Nobody does this. Nobody does this besides DICE and maybe a couple of other people. But truly, I've never played an FPS game where they bounce around with the time to kill and the gunplay so much. Two of the most important factors to a game is exactly that. How long it takes to kill someone and how the weapons feel. When you constantly change the core features of an FPS game, the whole game goes down with it. You don't see Call of Duty constantly changing the time to kill. You don't see CSGO constantly changing their recoil patterns. You don't see anybody doing this crap. You don't see Rainbow Six Siege constantly changing how their time to kill is and you know companies definitely nerf and buff weapons and stuff like that and buff or nerf uh specialist abilities and stuff like that but they don't change the overall time to kill of the overall movement or the all you see what i'm saying here i don't have to go into detail i don't need to explain myself to say that this is a horrible move here uh, this right here single-handedly ruined my experience I love this game in the beta, but every day that I play, I truly thought I was an ass at this game. I truly did. Like, I was genuinely thinking, like, bro, I was so good at the beta. I was having a blast. I was doing great. Uh, am I just bad now? Am I just horrible? I, no, no, <laughs> I'm not. It's happening to everybody. Every good player out there, every average player out there, every bad player out there, it doesn't matter your skill level, is getting completely screwed over because they put in a hidden feature that they didn't even tell us. They didn't even notify their community that they're going to do this. They just did it behind the doors and we had to find it out by ourselves. My disappointment right now, uh, I can't even describe it. I had the highest of hopes for this game. The highest of hopes. I didn't care if it released like this. Buggy, glitchy, not playable yet. I said multiple times, multiple times in multiple commentaries that I will grind through it because I liked the game. I enjoyed what they made. And then out of nowhere, out of the blue, they scrap every feature about this game that makes it unique from the rest and completely remodels it. I know that this video is getting long. You know, it's probably much longer than my other typical commentaries. But uh, truly, like, this is big. This is a big deal to me. It, it's really a big deal. It's a crucial deal. And it's killing the experience, not only for me, but like I said, for pretty much everybody. It's a shooting game. It is a shooting game. You don't mess around with the shooting mechanics. Especially, especially when the shooting mechanics are perfect. I am extremely disappointed in you guys, Dice, and I know I'm nobody here. You know, it doesn't matter what I have to say, but I don't care. I'm still going to voice my opinion out as a consumer. I am stupidly, stupidly disappointed right now, and I, I feel stupid as well. I feel like an idiot right now hyping up this game just for them to change the core experience of it. The god-awful servers mixed with the outstanding hit detection actually i'm gonna flash up a clip right here for you guys to see the hit detection i'll show it in tomorrow's video as well because i want to talk about this and uh you know another commentary where i talk about the overall game just look at this crap so bad servers bad hit detection mixed with bloom does not equal a good game it equals a stupidly bad one all of this stuff has to be resolved as fast as possible 
I'm being dead ass because if it doesn't get resolved, this game is going straight into the dumps. There's already people completely returning it, refunding it. And that's sad because the game is gorgeous. The maps are outstanding. They visually look really good. The weapons look really solid. They look good. The vehicles are fun to play. And honestly, I'm playing in more vehicles than, you know, on infantry on foot now because <laughs> what's the point? Why should I play on foot where I have bloom when I can just get in a vehicle and have a good time? You know, a lot of factors about this game are really good. Have you played Breakthrough on this game? 128 player Breakthrough? Breakthrough, it's wild. This game has all the potential to be one of the best Battlefield games out there. And I still, to this day, think it will be one of the best Battlefield games out there, you know, in a long time, of course. But to do something as crucial as this, you would think they would learn from their mistakes in the past. After doing the time to kill change, like I already said, in the Battlefield 5, they did the time to kill change, you would think they would learn, right? But no, they don't. They're repeating the same exact mistakes. They're repeating history, and it's not going to turn out good for them. They're getting the same backlash, and we're going to have to do the same exact thing that we do with Battlefield 5, go on a long cycle of fixing this game and making sure the core mechanics turn out good. But guys, I can't rant. I'm, I'm not going to rant your guys' ears off anymore. Thank you all so much for tuning in this video. I really do appreciate it. Again, tune into tomorrow's video for, you know, not my final impressions because obviously the game is going to be, you know, molded over time. But basically my initial impressions of purchasing the gold edition or for anybody who got the ultimate edition with early access, basically giving my opinions on the current state of this title. But ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for tuning in. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you leave a like. If you hate it, leave a dislike. Also, if you're brand new and enjoy the content, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification button. Also, if you want to chat with me, there's two ways to do so. I have a Twitter and a Discord. Both of those are down in the description. And also, if you want to catch me live streams and video games, I do over on Twitch. Link that is in the description as well. But guys, thank you so much for tuning in. See you on the next one. Peace out.